All right. Reggae for Japan with live and direct with Mr. 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 Vegas. How was it performing for you on the Reggae, Reggae for Japan show? Well, actually, I'm just getting ready to go on stage right oh, about now. Oh, you're not reaching? No, okay. so we go, I go out there right now, but you know, you're just lucky to, you know, get me to do the interview before I go out there, you know, when the body's getting crispy. All right. So, what inspired you to come on and do the show? Well, of course, when I saw Chin them doing it, you know, I, I had to reach out to Chin because I, 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 I like the, 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 the whole effort that, you know, they were putting out, you know. You know, of course, you know, that's big for me. The Japanese people have done so much for reggae music. So, for me not to be a part of it, you know, it, it, you know, I, I, it, couldn't, it wouldn't sit well for me. We, we uh, read a, uh, maybe a couple months ago you get a key to, I think it was Gambia. Andorus. Yeah. How was that? How, how did that come about? Well, of course, you know, you know, I guess the years of working and, you know, I went there and, you know, they, they just didn't see any show like that, you know, so, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to go there and entertain people. I wa is that one of your most memorable experiences in, as far as you're going to your Actually, career? my most memorable performance or, 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 or moment in music is um, my crown anniversary in Japan with like 40,000 people <laughs> just going crazy. Okay, so you know, fireballing. Yeah, man, definitely. Okay, what, what are some, you know, you have this crossover like a, a dance hall kind of remix Christian kind of tune and, and style and everything, and then you have your hardcore. Well, I'm just an entertainer, you know, you, you know, like tonight we're going out there, we're doing a total, you know, totally different show, you know. So, were, were, you ra were you raised in the church? Of course, you know, most Jamaicans, you know, were, you know, were, were raised in the church or, you know, still being raised in the church. You know, we're a very spiritual nation. And who are some of the artists that inspired you as a youth? Of course, the great Den uh, Dennis Brown, of course, Barrington Levy is like my idol, you know, musically. And of course, um, Bob Marley is like you know, you know the, the, the work that he you know put out there. You know, I just I just try to follow in some of those footsteps. And of course, being a man for his charisma and stage and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So we ain't gonna hold you too long. We know you have a jump, but man. give thanks for the interview. Man. What's new for Mr. Vegas coming up? Well, it's gonna be a crazy summer. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We got a video with Tierra Marie and Gypsy coming out. We got a, 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 a song called Something About You that I think in you know, the personal is gonna be real big. You know, and of course we have certain law, you know, we, we, we're teaching the laws of dancehall, you know, so you mm. have to look up for that too. We've got Zion, mm. you know, we've got dirty people, you know, so there's a lot of music coming out. All right. Give thanks, Mr. Vegas.